old man landing. Perfect! Did you enjoy this flight? I'm pleased with that. Hello. Hello. Hello, my beauties. Oh, I think that's got to be my best landing ever. <laughs> Considering your age, yes. Hang on, I can't hear. Cause... Considering your age, yes, it yeah, was very good I'm landing. Out of my own. 73. 73 and a half. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. See you later. Thank you, Michelle, <laughs> for that uh, short interview. Very good. Anyway, this is uh, a bit of footage I thought I'd include because it's a very tight um, field here. We've got a motorway in front of us uh, showing on right on the map there. And we're heading towards it and we need to take off. I had a bit of a wobbly fit, uh, but Chile just said, just close your eyes and sort of imagine you're down at your home field in Wingland and just take off and you'll be fine. And uh, sure enough, halfway across the field, we, uh, we um, sort of alighted the ground and uh, turned to the left over uh, towards a supermarket, which is a little bit sketchy, but uh, turned round and um, flew off into the sunset. So this was our last flight uh, in Spain, um, just heading off there, forward launch, no wind. Uh, there you can see on the map we're going to sort of circle round and uh, we're going to fly over a castle, which you'll see in a minute, and up to the coast. Uh, we're going to be rather careful not to uh, get any complaints because the airfield's uh, in danger of being shut down. And then we're going to fly back down south along the coast and then go back inland and we can fly as low as we want as long as we're not close to the airfield. That beach over there, we were asked not to fly over that at all. And um, what a beautiful day. Now, this is the uh, castle. Now, it looks quite old, but in actual fact, it was actually built in the 80s on the in the uh, instruction of Margaret Thatcher to Norman Tebbit. Uh, they were sort of anticipated the Poltrax riots and they needed somewhere to put all the, um, the rioters. So uh, Thatcher had it built. Um, what an impressive structure. Now we're starting to get this. So here we are now, uh, reaching the coast. Lovely beach there. So this was shot a few days earlier when I was on my own flying across the beach. Hardly anybody about. Beautiful. So finally we get to the end of the two hour flight and uh, can go down and uh, foot drag. Uh, well, I say foot drag, it's just a few inches off the floor because uh, quite a lot of rocks around in Spain. You don't want to hit them on your feet. Um, so yeah, great fun.
finally back to the airfield and just losing altitude here. You can see there there's a three access plane uh, just uh, taking off, doing a touch and go. Uh, it's also the owner of the airfield uh, instructing someone, so uh, try to interlace with that uh, before landing. Everybody scatters here. They probably don't realise that I'm pretty good at spot landing. Recharge, so, uh... recharge. Oh my God, okay. Everything's down the other day. <laughs> GoPro falls off helmet. <laughs> this ear, look. I think you should fasten that on better. <laughs> yeah, no, but you should be fastened on with look through there with a string. I know. It was a job on my job to make that better, but it didn't get done basically. In conclusion, what did we learn? Yeah, so the holiday was uh, great fun, thanks to Steve Jennis for organising it. Uh, a real confidence boost, no mishaps at all. Uh, this is uh, footage I took in France of Chile doing a perfect foot drag over an uh, undulating field. It's actually a runway. Um, great throttle control there. You, you know, those who are bearing the throttle all the time, they haven't got the skill. Anyway, that's on a warp and a bulldog. Um, and speaking of bulldogs, here's some footage I've been dying to show you. Now that's what I call taking the 